is Pakistan and its rogue spy agency, the ISI. It played a crucial role in the takeover of Kabul and is now said to be advising the Taliban on how to impose authority. The ISI is also helping Pakistani terrorists build a base in Kabul. Some of them have already sworn allegiance to the Taliban, like the Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan. In a press release, the TTP, Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan, have said that the Taliban's so-called victory against the U.S. is a victory for the entire Muslim community. The Prime Minister of Pakistan seems to agree. In a recent press conference, Imran Khan said the Taliban have broken the chains of slavery in Afghanistan. Here's a report. Much has been said about the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan and America's failure in preventing this from happening. But very little is being said about the role Pakistan played. For months, Afghanistan's deposed Vice President Amarullah Saleh and several members of the Ashraf Ghani government highlighted the role Pakistan's ISI was playing in guiding the Taliban. In July, there were reports of the ISI pushing terrorists into Afghanistan. Pakistani terrorists were even sighted in the border provinces of Ghazni, Khost, Logar, Paktia and Paktika. But America was too busy securing its interests. The same month, pro-Taliban rallies were held in Peshawar. Flags of the Islamic Emirate were unfurled in public. Even Pakistani lawmakers exposed their government's role in aiding the Taliban. Like Pakistan's interior minister, Sheikh Rashid, who told Geo News in a TV interview that Talibs injured in fighting get treated at Pakistani hospitals. They also dead bodies. They also get treated for medical treatment. There are also many hospitals where they get treated for medical treatment. So, this is all the fact that Pakistan has been in 40 years, but it's been in 70 years. Despite such overwhelming evidence, the stakeholders in Afghanistan did nothing to stop Islamabad. The result is this. A terror regrouping in Afghanistan. Terrorists of all hues have reached Kabul to make the fallen capital their base. Orchestrating this regrouping is Pakistan's deep state, led by the Inter-Services Intelligence, the ISI. It is pushing terrorists from Lashkar-e-Taiba, jaish e muhammad Lashkar-e-Jangvi and the Tehreek-e-Taliban Pakistan into Afghan soil. The Emir of Tehreek-e-Taliban, Noor Wali Mehsood, who operates from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, has renewed his oath of allegiance to the Taliban. In a press release, he has called America's defeat a victory for the entire Muslim community, pledging that the TTP will not spare any sacrifice for the stability of the restored Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Advisors from the Pakistani army are currently stationed in Kabul to guide the Taliban in consolidating its control. At the same time, Pakistan's deep state is selling the Taliban's takeover as a victory of jihad to convince Pakistani youth to join its operations in Afghanistan. India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar has warned the United Nations Security Council about this unholy alliance. In spite of the progress we have made to tighten the legal, security, financing and other frameworks to combat terrorism, terrorists are constantly finding newer ways of motivating resourcing and executing acts of terror. Unfortunately, there are also some countries who seek to undermine or subvert our collective resolve to fight terrorism. That cannot be allowed to pass. The Prime Minister of Pakistan continues to publicly endorse the Taliban. He says the Taliban have broken the chains of slavery. Afghanistan was Afghanistan a slave country before the Taliban took over? Or are they slaves now to a terrorist regime backed by Pakistan and legitimized by America? Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.